All right, now we done with August 8th. Let's move on to the list of August 15th. And we gonna start off with Night Terrors, Catwoman, issue two. So, starting off from the last issue, she's in this other Gotham with this other Batman and she's trying to train his ass to get ready for the dude that's finna become Joker. They across the street from this building which got set on fire by this Joker looking motherfucker. They go up in there to see basically where the fire started from and they said it started from the Separatarium and they see random joker looking motherfuckers that's dead so they keep going around checking to see if one of them breathing and they found one that's breathing so they picked his ass up got the fuck up out of there then catwoman said that he needed question they need to question his ass as he wakes the fuck up and he's like oh speak of the devil so he wake up and he get to talk a little bit of shit so she's still off on his ass like we the ones to ask questions motherfucker she's like you're a nobody now but i know what you're gonna become he's like oh shit happy to have somebody believe in me like don't get smart with me so that's when he got to talking about this little crazy ass shit about snakes and shit. Now they're good and that they always gonna believe in Sister Zero, which is her sister. She smacked the shit out of his ass. Like, say her name again, I dare you. What's your plans for Sister Zero? He like, I just want to make the people believe in her. And for that, they need a devil. You're no devil, just some Jezebel. You're no devil, you're a joke. So the police and shit was coming as a uh, Bruce was saying. She was like, oh, no, nah, we don't need to lock him up or some shit like that. Bow, knock his ass out. She's like, they just need to make sure his ass stay still. So she goes back to that place. Her and Bruce go back to that place where Maggie at, right? And she basically like, I don't want to tell her shit so that she don't worry about it. Bruce like, perhaps you should tell her the truth, everything you know, and let her lead. Isn't that what you she wants for you to retire? She was like, yeah, that's what she says, but she's a healer and a lover. She's never been the bad one. That was always me. That's when her sister popped up on her. She was like, yeah, both of y'all smell like fucking fire. She was like, let me guess. The damn street fire on 5th Street by the snake house. She's like, yeah, we was there all night, a little search and rescue, a little investigation. She said, we found them again, the Joker. And his ass is, uh, said that he has something in plan for you says that he wants to make them doubt that he he wants to make them doubt you he wants them he wants them to become your devil the people she talking about and she was like shit sound like he could be anybody in these motherfucking places that need help maybe you should have brought him along if you want to solve his problems excuse me i have to lead and lend prayers so she get up there on the little stand door a little pre preaching thing right and she's like look i just want to talk to you i know you mad at us for doing that costume shit but joker told him himself he ain't coming for sister maggie he coming for sister zero which is her other persona because that's the, the people that they believe in the vengeance of god who protects them when they're down you have to put on the costume she's like i can't encourage this shit no more never should have you should have had you in, in the first place so she told her basically to fucking to get her ass to fuck with her and basically to understand believe her she got to go talk to them people in one of them stands so she go up in there, right, and she get to confessing to him and shit, right? That's when this motherfucker get to smiling because it's another Joker-looking ass dude. And the dude that she fucking put in the jail, she's like, you supposed to be in fucking jail. Bruce is finna come up and help you. And she's like, no, you got to protect your identity. Don't come back unless you're fucking Batman. And go check on the priest from Blood Heaven. His ass might be dead. That's when she got to choking his ass out, murking his ass. That's when uh, Sister Maggie came up like, what the fuck are you doing? You did that shit in the house of God? She's like, he did it. He sent, I sent Bruce to check on the other priest. Joker was in the confessional stand. Thank God it was me. If there was somebody else in there, she would, he would have died. She was like, leave. He can stay if he's in need, but you have to leave. So she takes his ass to this place where he can't scream or none of that shit, right? And she was like, look, I can't trust the cops to keep a hold of your ass. So I'm going to do it myself. There's nothing you can do to, uh, for me. And she closed the door and lock it on his ass. Then she get to leaving and shit, right? Cause she found out that the fucking people in that place was getting affected by the fucking snake venom just like batman was in the last issue and we see how the fuck he did that shit and she was the one that gave that shit that he made to everybody else so that's when maggie was like all right what do i need to do to help she's like get them comfortable then sister zero needs to go down to the clusters and question joker as hard as she can she talking about that place where she got it back he has access to dozens of snakes at the territory basically she telling him to go get the fucking cure for this snake venom shit because everybody's starting to fucking die from it she's like i don't care what you gotta do grab all the samples if you got to she said once we get back to the church we can determine which snake we need to help inject them people and shit that's when she got the flirt with fucking batman for a second then she was like hold on i see movement sister zero and she's like there's this girl popped up right these medusa looking ass girls catwoman thought they was joker's fucking goons but they wasn't they're the handmaidens of chaos fear and lack of faith and goodness She's like, the Joker didn't make us. You did, Sinner. She's talking, they was talking to uh, Catwoman. 
So they get to the whooping their ass, right? And she thinking that they're here because of Joker and she want them to lose faith in Sister Zero by making them afraid of the sight of a nun. It won't work. Their faith in her is stronger than your fear. Sister Zero go over to where that damn uh, Joker dude at and start choking him the fuck up to try to see where the fucking anti-venom is. And so she want to know which anti-venom to use that saved the people down in the place. This motherfucker just made a joke so she just leave his ass and just hurry up and go back to her people. Back at the damn place, them fucking snakes bit the fuck out of Selena ass, so now she's infected. Batman had a little bit of fucking serum that that uh, worked for him, so he's like, fuck it, we gotta try this shit and shoot it inside her ass. Everybody's saying they condolences and shit, because you can see with the beep beep shit, her ass died from that shit. Then she wakes up, then she explains to us what her dream means. She said, my dreams want me to release control. My dreams want me to step back from the ledge before I destroy the city, these people, or the man I love. What happened if I saw in chaos that I'm not here to shepherd? What if the best Gotham could, Gotham could be is what is shown now, demons and all, and I'm the only one I'm making it worse once the war has been started? All you can do is have faith in why you started it and fight until the war is, the war is through. And this shit gonna be continued next in Love and War Gotham War. It ain't gonna continue with the Night uh, Terror shit.